This is a $1,000 robo vacuum, and this is a $100 normal vacuum. And today we're gonna see which one is actually better. Now, right off the bat, the $1,000 robo vacuum can do everything by itself, which is great because I'm very lazy. And on the other hand, the $100 vacuum needs me to get up and do it myself, which is super annoying because nobody likes cleaning. Now, the $1,000 robo vacuum definitely has its downsides because sometimes it can get a mind of its own and go to random places, which is super annoying. As well, there's been a bunch of times where it will get stuck on a rug, run into stuff, or suck up cables and almost explode. Now, even though the $100 vacuum requires effort, you can make sure to get every spot and you won't be running into any cords anytime soon. But now for the moment of truth as to which one is better, and I'm gonna have to give it to the $100 vacuum because nobody needs a $1,000 robo vacuum. 